Another event in Pokemon Go is going down and it's going to be called Magnet Study. So we're going to be able to study electric type Pokemon for a couple days in Pokemon Go and I'm going to run you through all those details. So welcome to the Trainer Club. Here we go. From Tuesday the 15th of October all the way until 17th at basically midnight to midnight. So you have a grand total of three full days-ish to be able to get after this. So guys, if you wanna get after this event, you're gonna to have to be timely. It's a quick one for whatever reason. And as far as this event, there's gonna be a couple bonuses going down. So during the entire event, you're gonna have increased chances of getting Magnemite, Plusle, and Minum shinies so all three of those will have increased shiny odds then if you do use magnetic lures there's going to be an increased chance of attracting these pokemon to the lures which will then in turn give you more potential for the shinies and then we're also going to have bonuses differing each and every day so on the 15th for the entire day you're going to be able to get a two times catch xp then on the 16th you're going to get 50 percent increased xp from raid battles so if you go out and do a legendary raid you're going to be getting 15,000 xp on a lucky egg that's 30,000 that's not something to look over and then finally on the 17th you're going to get two times catch stardust for all the pokemon that you do catch so if you need to catch xp guys please hit those excellent throws this is pretty good for 24 hours i know we've had events where it goes beyond this but at the same time these ones do have increased shiny rates for three pokemon Pokemon. I don't know exactly what those shiny rates could be. And then finally, the two times catch Stardust is pretty good as well. And honestly, the 50% increase in raid XP is pretty good as well if you are out there hunting some raid battles. But the first two do not require paid entry really to be able to do so. So it's a very easy as an entry point to just use a lucky egg and a star piece and go out there and grind for both of those situations. And then there's going to be time to research of the day. So it looks like also during this event, we're going to have featured Pokemon. And I don't know if that's just through the research or that's going to be more prevalent in the wild, but on the 15th, it's going to be Plusle with 5,000 XP and 2,500 Stardust. On the 16th, you're going to have encounters with the Pokemon Magnemite as well as getting one Magnetic Lore Module. And then on the 17th, you're going to have encounters with the Pokemon of the day, which is going to be Minun with 5,000 XP and 2,500 Stardust. I would love if during these research things, I mean, when they're giving us XP, it's really not that much. If you're thinking like 5,000 XP, wow. Okay, you're need 176 million XP to be able to get to level 50. So giving you 5,000 5, 5, in a research is really not that much. And I'm really surprised that at some point during this game, they haven't increased the amount of XP and Stardust they actually give us, especially now for the Stardust that they've introduced a Dynamax system, which is basically an entirely new raid system that you're basically gonna have to power up Pokemon all over again with Stardust. So let's say I did get a Hundo Beldum from the Dynamax battle, and in order for me to max that, it's gonna be 450 around 1,000 Stardust, which is way too much. And then we have the Plusl Minun as well as Magnemite infield research. And obviously with those shiny rate increases, hopefully they're gonna be pretty good. You guys do have a little bit better chances of getting a Shundo. Maybe not calm day odds, but you have three days to be able to go after all of these. So why not encourage yourself to get out there, use that XP bonus, use the Stardust bonus, and then potentially complete a lot of field research tasks, potentially get one of these Pokemon as a Shundo in the game. So can't wait to see what you guys do with this. Thank you guys as always to all of my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody take your support, subscription, if it's space to XL, I'll bless you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.